Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to return non-adjacent columns when using the filter function. And you also want to change the order of the columns compared to how they appear in the data. So I'm going to filter on records for the London branch and I want to return product category, product and revenue in that order. And that's not the order that they appear in the original data. Now I'm housing the data in an Excel table because it makes it much easier to refer to the columns in my data. And the way I've done that is I've clicked somewhere in the data and then I've gone insert and then table. And then I've given the table a name. I've called it sales data. You can see the name there. Okay. So starting with the filter function, my array is the data set. So all I need to do is click in the top left hand corner of my table that will select all of the data comma now my filter is actually very simple is the branch equal to london so in a table you can just click in the column heading i've got a little black arrow pointing down that will select the entire column and i'm going to say is that equal to the value i'm holding in g1 now if i close the bracket and press enter it returns the columns in the order that they originally appear in the data. Now to exclude branch, I don't want branch returned by the filter function. And to change the order of the columns, I use a function called choose coals. So I'm putting this in front of the filter function. Choose coals has two mandatory arguments, array. So for us, that's the array returned by the filter function comma column one so what's the position of the first column you want to return so the first column i want to return is the second column the second column in the original data set so i'm going to put a two in comma column number two so what's the second column i want to return that's the product column so that's the first column in my data comma and then col number three, what's the third column I want to return? Well, that's the fourth column in my data. So then I close the bracket and press enter and it returns those fields. Now I do need to adjust the column widths, but then essentially I'm done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.